Okay. Hopefully it should behave a little bit better, but possibly not. So I can't make any promises. If it was, if we weren't playing a visual novel, I'd be a little bit more worried about it. But uh, we are, so I'm slightly less worried about it than I would normally be, if that's okay. Just let me know if it gets too terrible, but actually it looks like it's being okay now, so maybe it'll be okay. Uh, you know, until a few weeks ago, humans were still just a myth. <laughs> if we look at the portal, it's like something that came out of science fiction. Ipsum certainly seemed interested in it. He is. He actually read up on some new theories about it. Like what? You remember I'm telling you about the different branches and how the barrier separates them, right? Yeah. So, since the barrier is made up of wormholes and using the portal displaces them, it leaves gaps in the barrier. I distinctly remember him talking about something like that. Through these gaps, he thinks we can communicate with our alternate selves in the other timelines. Freaking zero escape right up in here? How does that work? It all goes into the nature of existence itself. Who are you as a person? Do you think you're just the Diana from this branch? What about the ones from all the other timelines who have made other decisions? Would you consider yourself to be the same person as them? The only difference between you and the Diana from another branch may be that you decided to skip breakfast this morning. Maybe you're all of them. How is that possible? Like a seed from which many roots can sprout or a tree in its branches, there may be a uniting factor that branched off into these different timelines, your fundamental nature. You might call it a soul or something similar, but the idea is, even though there are many different versions of you, there's an aspect that unites all of you. A part of myself that stands over me, kind of like a superego. An interesting comparison. Let's talk about parallel universes. Seriously, that's what this route is all about, pretty much. If we use a similar model here, then we can say that you're also made up of three distinct parts. In each timeline, you have a physical body, which is driven by its own base desires that it seeks to fulfill. All physical needs like hunger, thirst, and even breathing fall under this category. However, as a being with free will, you're also capable of making your own decisions. That includes being able to act contrary to what your body is telling you. The ability to think and make decisions on your own is your rational mind, the self. And lastly, there is the third part I just talked about. The one that stands above all of you and unites you in some way. Let's call this your higher self. Through this higher self, you may be able to communicate with your alternate selves in some way. Usually the barrier would prevent this, but through the gaps, communication becomes a possibility. The more gaps there are, the easier this should be. And how would I go about doing that? I suppose that would be the job of the higher self. So I can't control it. These are all just theories. We wouldn't know until it happened. Only then could we study it. If it was to happen, how would I know? If someone else's experience gets relayed through this connection to you, it could manifest in a number of ways. Maybe it could be something like deja vu or a false memory, maybe even dreams. But the biggest difficulty would be to recognize that this phenomenon is happening in the first place. It's certainly quite out there, you have to admit. Sure, but quantum mechanics are already complicated enough. Once you look at what lies beyond, it's just crazy territory. What do you think about all this? Remember that time when we said we wanted to do this before dark, and now we're having like an hour long conversation? I think it might already be happening. Really? Just think about it. If the possibilities of it ever happening are there, then it's more than likely that it already has. I'm not sure I'd follow. Let's assume that this is an average timeline. The portals have been found by both of our people, contact has been made, and now you and Razor are both here for a visit. A few letters were exchanged before you and Razor were sent here, so that means the portal has already been used a few times. Using a portal once might only have an infinitely small effect on the barrier, like poking a hole in a castle wall with a needle. However, if you multiply this by nearly an infinite number of possible timelines, and are we supposed to be on a treasure hunt in which these same events have happened, the effects must already be noticeable. Of course, some people may be more susceptible to this than others. Do you think you've already experienced it? I don't know. I've been having some weird dreams lately. 
Me too. Because we have. Really? Oh, more treasure hunting again. Wow, this scenery looks weird and different. A treasure hunt in which we dig deeper into our minds. We were just entering, oh, we were walking that whole time. A clearing, and from my view, I could see some odd lines that had been drawn on the ground. Hey, I think this is the spot. Why do you think so? Connection seems much better now? Aw, yeah. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> well, the giant X on the ground kind of gives it away. Lorem took flight with a few flaps to his wings. After looking at the scenery from above, he returned to me. You're right, it does look like a giant X. Guess it's time to get our hands dirty again. That may not be necessary this time. What are you talking about? He went to the center where the lines crossed and picked up an object that was lodged halfway into the ground. He returned to me once more, holding another capsule similar to the one that we had found near the school. If we have to go back to town after walking all this way, I'll... And it's open. Apparently, we're going to 6K now. And where is that? There's an abandoned store on the other side of the forest. That's where we're going. That just means the way back is going to be even longer. But we're on a treasure hunt, so who cares? Oh, there's water. Are you sure we should even be here? This is the place indicated by the map. I was talking about the building being roped off. Maybe that's just part of the game. Is the flooding part of the game too? Hey, you can give up if you want to. I certainly won't. Now, are you going to help me or not? I guess. I just didn't expect that I'd have to get wet, get wet for this. All part of being a treasure hunter. Let's just look for the X. Sure. Lorem flew up to the light fixtures to get a view from above while I checked out the shelves. I remember when we could still shop here. What happened? Apparently the area has a problem with flooding. I can see that. <laughs> so much work and resources are needed to erect a building like this one, and in the end it just gets abandoned. We have plenty of empty buildings where I come from. Oh really? Not sure this is a good reminder of home though. At least we don't have a problem with flooding. Uh, I nearly got sent back, by the way. Really? Why? Political reasons. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to talk about it. Um, if you guys- I know there are some of you here who have not been to an angel stream before. The plot in this game is very important, but, um, you can either catch up on it on some of the other streams, or, um, next stream we do this, we will be going through the entire plot. So, just bear with it for now. You just did. Is it related to that announcement they made about Reza? Maybe? Huh, guess things are pretty serious. They are. Hmm. Have you found anything yet? Not really. Maybe it's underwater. You think so? It's certainly not anywhere near the ceiling. I already checked there. And I found nothing near the walls or the shelves. It could be hidden beneath a floor tile or something like that. I suppose you're right. Let's do it. All right, I'm scared. I don't want to do this. Without hesitation, Lorem vanished beneath the water surface. Deepest lore in any game. Honestly, though, I breathed in deeply, crouched down, and began looking underwater as well. Blub, 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 blub. Blub, blub, blub. Wow, this is really deep water, all things considered. I looked around, but nothing seemed out of the ordinary to me. Just as I was about to resurface and get some air, I heard a splash accompanied by a loud thud. What was that? Lorem? Everything was quiet as I looked around for my companion. Suddenly I heard frantic knocks coming from a shelf that was lying on the ground, half submerged in water. I realized that it was still standing when we came in earlier. As I waded over to it, it soon became clear that the knocks were, were coming from beneath. Lorem? Quickly I mustered all my strength and grabbed the shelf, lifting it up until it fell over to the other side with a loud splash. Oh, thank god he's okay. Lauren resurfaced, gasping for breath. Uh, so this is probably a good point to say that it is pretty canon that if you don't, you know, get the, um, events with Lorem and you don't go on this treasure hunt, he does actually die here. 
Uh, and it's confirmed by, I don't know if you remember, but maybe last time when we streamed this game, we did see Ipsum, and he said that Lorem had been missing for a couple days. And so that's that's supposed to be what happened to him. Lauren resurfaced, gasping for breath. What just happened? I was looking underwater, and suddenly a shelf just came down on top of me. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. My leg hurts a bit, but that's about it. But I totally saw something. Let me show you. Without waiting for a reply, Lorem dove down into the water again, resurfacing a few seconds later, holding an ominous metal box that had a large X on it. This should be it. Let's hope it's waterproof, though. From the looks of it, it is. We should go outside, though. It'll be hard to read anything in here. Sure. Doo -doo -doo. Well, what's inside? Lorem held up the box to me. I took one of the sheets of paper that were inside and started reading. I think these are pizza vouchers. Lauren was holding another sheet, which she started reading aloud. Congratulations, you've solved Pantoli Pizza's annual treasure hunt. Remember the code word enclosed for an instant rebate on your next order and a chance for the grand prize. You could be the lucky winner for a year's supply of Pantoli's Pizza. This competition will run until... Oh, what is it? It's expired. The treasure hunt, the contest, apparently it all ended months ago. Oh man! Can we still get the pizza? Well, I don't think that offer is still valid. I mean, we could still get pizza regardless. The whole thing has made me really hungry. I suppose this concludes our treasure hunt. What do we do now? Maybe we could see this experiment experience as another reminder that the journey is its own reward or that the early bird gets the worm you really want some pizza don't you that makes me wonder though why didn't they get rid of the hints in this box when the contest is expired they must have realized that people may still have these kits at home even when the contest is over if people went out looking for a hint in the woods and it wasn't there anymore they might start look for hours until they decided there was nothing to find so he dies in another route for pizza or they just didn't care. You know, I'm slowly starting to lose hope in Pantoli's Pizza. Sending us here is really negligent. Who knows what would have happened to you if I wasn't here? Well, I know. Maybe this whole building could crash down on the next unlucky people who end up here. Maybe that's why I was roped off in the first place. <laughs> but you thought it was part of the game. Maybe they should have put up a sign or something. While I was talking, Lauren walked towards one of the wooden poles that was used to rip off the building. He picked up a large rectangular object from the ground that was hidden in the grass. It was a wooden sign. Warning, do not proceed past this point. The treasure hunt has concluded and there is nothing more to find. Danger ahead. We can find the treasure, but not this huge sign. What does that say about us? I'm not sure exactly. We should probably head back before it gets too dark though. We still have to go through the woods again. All right, let's go. Do you want to pick up some pizza on the way home? I don't know. <laughs> wow, that was an adventure. It's like I have some free time. Guess what? We're not doing anything. All right. Chapter four. We are just zooming right along this time. I feel like his events are not as long as everyone else's. Probably because I'm skipping most of the plot because he's not in it for the most part. Do 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 do. All right, so we should have another message from Lorem. Ah, oh, I love this music. I woke with my eyes fixed on the ceiling wallpaper. A sense of dread lingered from a nightmare. I no longer remember how many more times so I've seen this before. We've seen this all before. Right on the minute. Clocks are reliable. Got something for me. An envelope from the facility. These are the results from my blood test. <coughs> Sorry, didn't mean to inconvenience you. We've seen this all before. This is the time that Reza stole some eggs. We're gonna just skip ahead because we don't care right now. Hi, Maverick, what's up? We are not gonna do this. Burm, 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 I'll do it because I'm not gonna let Bryce die. 
Uh, why don't you just watch it? Because I don't want Sebastian to die. All right, now we can really do anything. Oh, hey, uh, we can see that. Okay, so this is this is what we did last time when we saw Ipsum, because Ipsum is the witness. But when we saw him last time, he was being all complainy because Lorem was missing. But now hopefully he won't because Lorem's not missing. <laughs> yeah, I'm working with the police and hoped you could answer a few questions. Yes. That's correct. All right, what do you want to know? Can you tell me what happened? Sure, I was running an experiment in my home laboratory and waiting for it to finish. Around 2 a.m., I suddenly heard a few, hear a few bangs outside. They reminded me of small explosions. It sounded like they were coming from just around the corner. I see. Did nothing about this seem unusual to you? Not really. I know I've caused a few similar disturbances with my experiments before. If someone else decided to take up home experimentation, they certainly have my approval. Besides, I wasn't in any position to abandon the experiment that was running at the time, or else it could have had a similar outcome. Thank you. I think that'll be all. No problem. By the way, are you going to meet with Lorem again anytime soon? I don't know. Why are you asking? You've hung out with him a few times now. You see, he doesn't have many friends, and I think he's starting to like you. That's not really unusual. It's just, if something happens the next time you meet, don't be mad at him, okay? What does that mean? O okay. Sure. Whoa! That was weird. Did you hear that? I didn't like that. It was kind of creepy. Uh, let's take the eggs to the hatchery. Because I like... Uh, I don't care about Kevin. I'm sorry. Sure, Kevin can do his thing. Oh, and then Remy is here too. We did this last time. With Vara! My little precious baby! I love Vara. Oh my god, she's so cute. Look at her. What a cutie. Alright. Done and done. Thanks for all of my help. I know, you are so welcome. Okay, this is a huge plot chunk. We're gonna skip it. Next time we stream Angels, we will go through that to its completion. There's nothing for me to do. Got some messages. It's probably... Hey, it's me. Do you want to meet up again? I know you're busy, but the summer festival is coming up soon. I'm not saying we should go, but we certainly could if you want to. In any case, call me back when you hear this. Well, obviously, we're going to give them a call back. Let's hang. Rad. Is it you? Hi. Hey. Hey, Lorem. So, this is where you live. You already got a glimpse when you delivered Ray's letter, remember? Yeah, but back then I didn't really notice anything. I was nervous. Why were you nervous? Uh, well, there was the fact that I was going to speak to a human. Plus, I didn't know if you'd actually listen to what I had to say. Okay, this I've definitely never seen. Because I would remember this music. Uh, but I, I've never seen this. And then I also wondered if I was going to remember everything I wanted to tell you. Or worse, if I'd get thrown out again, like when I talked to Reza. You actually talked to Reza? Well, not really. He just took the letter I had from and closed the door. But that was before you arrived here. Do you know who sent the letter? It came through the portal, so I assumed it was from a human. I see. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, that must be the sphere you found. Lauren walked up to the table and picked up the round object I'd found at the park. Yeah, maybe you can help me find out if it's actually Ipsum's or not. Sure. Uh, looks like it has no battery, though. He turned the sphere a few times, then placed it on the base and plugged it in. Woohoo! We did it! You've assembled the Ipsum sphere! Actually, it was Lorem. This should be his achievement. I'm sorry I took this achievement from you, baby. Here, you can have it. It's a shared one. He touched the base in a peculiar way. In response, writing appeared on the sphere's surface. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Aww. What a cutie. He's so small. I like it. The 
Looks like this really is Ipsum's sphere. He'll be relieved to know that it was found. So, what can we actually do with it now? Nothing really, unless you know the password that is. Well, that's a shame. Uh, I do happen to know his password, but uh, that's only for emergencies. No playing around with the sphere then, got it. By the way, did you hear about Ipsum? Apparently he's become a witness for a murder case. I totally went and talked to him about it actually. Yeah, I actually took a statement about that not too long ago. Really? Oh, does that mean this has something to do with Raze's disappearance? There's really no use denying it by this point. How long have you been helping the police anyway? Since the day of my arrival, really. Oh wow, I guess that explains why you've been so busy. I imagine you can't talk about it though. I don't really care anymore. Besides, I think it's become common knowledge by this point. You're trying to find Reza, right? Wasn't he your friend? Not sure I'd call him that. He's kind of a jerk, and we hate him. For everyone who doesn't know the plot. Still, he was supposed to be your partner in this, and now he's just gone. I'm not worried about what he's doing now. Even if we find him, this may put our diplomatic relationship in peril. Reza has been going around murdering a bunch of people, for the record. I guess I shouldn't talk about stuff like that. Why not? It's no use worrying about things that I can't change. Right, just focus on the things you can. That's my philosophy. You know, it's a bit of a shame that you didn't want to go to the festival. I already had my fair share of adventure the last time we met. Besides, I should probably lay low for now. You're right, the crowds would probably go crazy if they saw you. We could still watch the big fireworks show together, though. We wouldn't even need to go to the festival grounds to do that. Sure, if you like. I it only takes place at the end of the festival, though. When's that? A few days from now. You've been here a few minutes and already want to schedule our next get-together. Get-together. That's an odd way of phrasing it. Oh, I'm sorry, would you prefer... Date? Would you prefer if I called it, I'm telling you, Diana and I are the same person. Would you prefer if I called it a date? I don't know. It just seems a bit odd to me, considering that this all started with me begging you to meet me so I could draw pictures of you. We did that, and then we went treasure hunting, which was your way of saying thanks. What would you call what we're doing here now, then? Oh, this is so romantic. Dinner. I invited you for dinner. I'm not seeing anything to eat here, though. Right, that's because I wasn't sure about what's in the kitchen. <laughs> I also don't know what you like, so let's just order something. Like pizza. There are a few places nearby. Do you have anything in mind? I'm not really in the mood to try something new. Sure, how about pizza? Yes, or is it too soon? It might be too soon. Sounds good. Alright, let's just call Pantoli's then. They already let us down with the treasure hunt. Why do you think this will be different? They're the closest, and I haven't ordered from them in ages. Maybe for good reason. If they can't even get the treasure hunt right, I don't want to know what they do to their pizzas. It's just a pizza, Diana. How bad could it be? All right, if you want to vouch for Pantoli's, go ahead. Lauren took the sphere from its base and started to manipulate its interface with his fingers. What are you doing? Looking up the menu. I thought using Ipsum's sphere was only for emergencies. He went into my room when he was looking for the sphere, and he isn't allowed to do it that unless it's an emergency. It's the least he can do, considering you found it for him. All right. If you don't want pizza, I can just put it back and we can order something else. You already touched the sphere. It's too late to put it back now. We are in too deep, if you say so. Let's see, even our smallest pizza is going to be pretty big for me. Why don't we share? We could share what I- okay, I'm just going to stop talking. Sure, what toppings would you like? I think I'll go with salad. I'll take that as well. Are you sure? Let me see what else they have. Alright, what would you like on your half? Salad! I said I wanted salad! Really? Alright, I said I wanted the same thing! Why does it make me question it? And it's done! The order has been placed. 
For the next 30 minutes, Lorem showed me many of the other and less useful features of the Exomian Sphere. He made it levitate, showed me a primitive looking website, and even used it as a voice modulator. Oh, a pizza! I'll get it! Lorem got up and walked to the door. From my place on the couch, I couldn't see anything, but I heard a bit of talking before he returned to me carrying the square box. The fly who just delivered this, I actually know her. I guess it's not unusual for you to know each other. Your jobs are pretty similar. I suppose, some things never change in this town. Lorem doesn't understand the art of pizza. Lorem opened the box and showed me the pizza we'd ordered. Memories of days gone by raced through my head. All right, let's get this party started. Don't we need more people for a party? With pizza, anything's a party. Oh, yes. Hashtag pizza party. I feel like I haven't had a pizza like this in ages. Great pizza, though. I was afraid to pick that. <laughs> what are you waiting for, then? I took one of the slices. On its surface, there was an obvious layer of grease that was sure to stain anything it came in contact with. Nom nom nom. What do you think? It's been way too long. Guess you don't mind if we got pantolis now, huh? With these words, he grabbed one of the slices on his half and bit into it. After chewing a few times, his expression suddenly twisted into a scowl. Is something wrong? Now I remember why I haven't ordered from pantolis in a while. The pizza sucks. It's not that bad. Maybe you just haven't had a good pizza to compare it to. Hey, it's still better than nothing. I suppose. By the way, how's your game coming along? I don't know. I feel like I've hit a wall. Why is that? Maybe I got in over my head, you know? The more progress I make, the more it becomes apparent that I'll need a lot more help than I thought. So far, you're the only one who's been working on this, right? Yeah, but I'm starting to realize that it won't work out if I continue like this. Why not? That crunch sounded <laughs> heavenly. It would never be done. Or if it was, it would be very different from what I'd like to be. What I'd like it to be. So something needs to change. I suppose I'm just worried, because once you start involving other people, things get a lot more complicated. How so? I've always been the odd one out, so I'm not sure how well I could work with a team. You have to find people, work out how to pay them, and how to divide the work. I guess I'm just starting to realize what kind of investment this would actually be. Kickstarter, bruh. Kickstarter. You sounded a lot more optimistic the last time we talked about this. Yeah, it's all fun and games when you're just thinking about ideas that you could turn into a game. But once you actually start working on it, it's a completely different story. At some point, it just becomes another job. Isn't that what you expected? Of course it is. I knew it would be a lot of work, but I guess I'm just not sure if it's all worth it. That depends on why you're making it in the first place. Last time you said you had nothing to lose either way. Well, maybe I was wrong about that. I do have something to lose. What's that? Myself. Oh, that's deep, bruh. That is deep. I'm not sure if I'm ready to do what's necessary to finish what I started. If you think about it, what's the worst that could happen? Investing a lot of time and money only to end up with nothing in the end? I could end up disappointing those who played a game, those who collaborated with me, and lastly, myself. That's what you're worried about? That's what being a creator is like. You put tons of work and effort into something, you want people to like it, right? If that's not what's gonna happen, why do it in the first place? But you're not doing this for other people, are you? It's your game and your idea, after all. This is so true, oh my god. This is a good message for all content creators. Right, but you're not trying to cater to someone else, so what other people think is not important. This is like literally how I live my content creating life. Besides, what they think is outside your control anyway. Just look at what happened with Pantolis. Why do you think their pizza sucks? They probably cut a lot of corners during production and with the ingredients. They value quantity over quality and are only trying to get as many pizzas out as possible to satisfy demand. They're cheap and the pizza tastes like it. Okay, but they are still in business, so this must be working out for them somehow. Even if you don't like it, they are offering something other people clearly want. They probably don't give a damn about whether or not you like their pizza. I'm sure they don't. <laughs> they just give people what they want, and that's why they stay in business. 
are you saying that I won't be successful if I don't cater to others? No, I'm saying that unless being successful is the goal, you don't need to cater to anyone else. Because if you did, you would end up like Pantoles and you would really lose yourself. I guess you have a point. So what if other people like their gre greasy pizzas? That's not what you want to do. Certainly not. You said yourself that your philosophy is to just focus on things you can change. So what are your options here? This just got deep, wow. A wise person once said, do or do not, there is no try. So true. Mm. That's Star Wars reference though. Not doing this has never been an option for me. Then you make the most of it and nothing else matters. I think you're right. I should just focus on getting things done as best I can. Who knows, maybe you're wrong about Pantoles. Maybe they're actually a big family restaurant with a rich tradition in history and that's why people like them. No, I think it's just because they have cheap pizzas. Anyway, there's a good reason for my anxiety. I usually keep to myself and that's always how I've worked best. If there's one thing that life has taught me is that people fear what they don't know. I guess that's an odd thing to say when humans are worshiped by many. Most of them actually don't know any humans, not like I know you. Maybe I should rephrase that. People are afraid of what they don't understand. That's true. I was bullied a lot when I was a kid. Oh my god, all right, we're getting real deep. Strap in. You know, it can be pretty tough when you're growing up and all the other kids are always bigger than you are. Luckily, that was never a big problem for me. Even in kindergarten, we get told not to make fun of our differences because of how different our species are. It's just odd that for a society that celebrates our differences, there are still things that are too different, even for them. When I grew up and went to college, I thought people would know better than to continue doing those horrible things, but I was ultimately proven wrong. Their bodies may have been those of adults, but their hearts stay the same place as they were a decade before. Working on my own has helped, but that's treating the symptom, not the cause of the problem. I can't always run away, and I'll have to step into the limelight and brave the storm again if I want to finish this game. There's something about me that you don't know. Oh my god. What is it? In a way, I owe it to you to tell you, because you're going to find out sooner or later anyway, and when it happens, it should be on my terms rather than someone else's. What is it? I'm a hermaph- oh my god! I was not expecting that! Wow! Holy crap! Oh my god. I was born with both sets of sex organs, and before you ask, that is not something that is at all common in any of our dragon species. In the eyes of some, that makes me a freak of nature. Something that needs fixing, or shouldn't exist in the first place. Get out! Oh my god! I don't mind! You don't? Sure, some people may think that's odd, but I don't really care. It's just another part of who you are. Thank you. That's such a big relief. Wow, I'm like gonna cry up in here. Like, seriously. I am gonna cry. <laughs> Oof. You know, it's not always the bullies that go after me once they know. Too often, it's also been- Lauren, my dear sweet intersex child, I know. It's- It's also been people who I thought were my friends. <laughs> I think- I think Aiden is adopting a worm. Uh, so whenever I meet another person, I have to prepare myself for this conversation, not knowing whether they will suddenly turn against me when they find out. And the reactions can be very different. Some get angry or make fun of me. Others feel betrayed and don't want to have anything to do with me anymore. By now, I think I've seen it all. I'm so glad that you're not like them, but it's always a gamble. Maybe the next person I tell is going to become violent. How can I put myself out there when this could happen wherever I go, you know what I mean? What will people do when they find out about me and my game? I just don't know. That's what I'm worried about. I only wish there was a place where I could be safe from all of that. Where it just wouldn't matter that this is who I am. If someone like you, someone with a place of authority, said something, maybe that could change things. That doesn't always work. 
I know you can't interfere with our politics, though. You're an ambassador. Doesn't mean I don't have hope that something like that will happen one day. I should probably go now. It's getting late. You've made me feel a lot better, though. You told me not to worry about the future. And maybe you're right. Sure, there's still a lot of work ahead, but maybe it's not as hopeless as I thought. It never is. Hey, do you still want to see the fireworks show together? Uh, duh! Sure! Alright, just uh, give me a call in a few days so we can discuss the details. I'll do that. Alright, I'll uh, see you then. See ya! Wow. That was not where I was expecting that was gonna go. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, my sweet, sweet child. I'm going to protect him. Uh, we don't need to talk to anyone else. We're just gonna hang out. Alright. I think this is it already. Hope. And intuition. It's time for the fireworks show. And for all of you who have been here for an angel stream, you know what that means. It's time for the end. Today's the day of the big fireworks show. Who shall I bring? Obvi. Lorem. It's time to go. Oh, I still have Ipsum's Ixman Sphere. I could give it to Lorem when I meet with him. When I meet with them. Yes, this is... We have to be appropriate about pronouns now. Um, take the sphere. Obvi. The sooner Ipsum gets it, the better. I took the sphere and put it in one of my pockets before I headed out to meet Lorem. After a few minutes of walking, I arrived at a rather empty-looking area near the edge of town. Hey, Lorem. Hey, Diana. You are right. This will be much better than mingling with the crowds. I could do without all the extra noise and screaming. Yeah. So, what are we going to do now? Wait. Oh, I also brought Ipsum's sphere. Maybe I can f it can finally find its way home. Great. Would you mind holding on to it, though? I don't really have a bag or anything to put it in right now. That's all right. Just remind me to give it to you later. Sure. Oh, I think it's starting. Look. We were quiet as we waited, and the stillness of the night enveloped us. Soon I heard the sound of the first rocket making its way into the night sky, after which it exploded in a pattern of colors. More rockets follow, their thunderous noise echoing, and we get to see the pretty, pretty fireworks. They are beautiful. But then we have the sickening realization. Suddenly a terrible realization hit me. Dang it, I was close. Considering I'm probably gonna a gonna be bad. Don't, can't let Reza be bad. Gotta not let him. Lorem, I think we need to go now. What's going on? I know where Reza is. Really? We need to stop him. We? What do you think I can do? He's twice as big as I am, and let's not forget about his weapon. I can try and hold him off. You go get help. Alright. Wait a minute, give me the sphere. There you go. I watched as Lorem took the sphere from my hands and slid their fingers over its interface in a peculiar way. After a few seconds, they were done, and the sphere was back in my hands. It might not help you much, but if something goes wrong, just throw it at him. Why didn't we use that to call for help? Isn't it a phone? Maybe not, I don't know. Alright, where is he anyway? The underground building. Let's go. No, you're going to get help. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I arrived at the portal just a few minutes later. I couldn't help but be glad that it was still turned off and didn't appear to be used recently. But it meant Reza was still here somewhere. I looked around, thinking about where he could be, or if it was worth waiting for him here, when I saw something out of the corner of my eye. There was a suitcase leaning against the portal. When I opened it to check on its contents, I was surprised to find a few eggs inside. I had no doubt this was Reza's doing. Apparently he had broken into the hatchery again, stashing the eggs here. But he hadn't used the portal just yet. Why? Given that he hadn't left yet, he clearly still had unfinished business in the area. The underground building. The administrator told me all about the prowess of the generators within. It probably hadn't been hard for Ace to guess the same. This is the same as all the times. I also didn't have far to go. Only option that made sense. Could have waited for Reza, but no, we're going to go after him. 
Even the darkness was easy for me to spot the site where they had unearthed the building's entry, as it was in a roped-off area that I'd seen from afar before. Let's go see our boy. That boy! Reza! Where are you at? Lights were already on, Reza was probably here somehow. And here he is! When he spotted me, he sat on the ground. Sup, dude? How's it going? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't really want to talk to you. I'm kind of upset, actually. Uh, I'm gonna skip through this a little bit fast, because I know that there are people who haven't seen the whole plot, and I'm not gonna explain the whole thing now. So... Oh! Whoa! Okay, that was fast! We did not get through nearly the whole friggin' fight that Razor and I usually have. Suddenly Maverick and Lorem appear next to me. Oh good, he brought Maverick, probably the most qualified. You planned this, didn't you, Diana? Traitor! He pulled out his gun, not sure which one of us he should be aiming at. Do not shoot my child! Just let me go, and I'll forget this thing ever happened. You've got six bullets for three people. Do you think you could really do that, Reza? Do you think this is worth risking your life for? I've been risking my life for this every day for the last two weeks. What did you do during that time? Sip champagne in your nice apartment? No, I went on a treasure hunt. Besides, this generator of the whole building came from our time. Oh, God. They belong to humanity. Spoilers, Reza. Some, okay, well, there's no way to do this without spoilers, because here comes the administrator. Hi, friend. Oh. No, they belong to me. Confused, Razor spun around, aiming his gun at the newcomer who was slowly walking towards him. The fuck are you? Freeze! I said freeze! Wanna waste your bullets on me? Feel free. You can't stop all of us. And probably gonna get shot. Death. Administrator fell to the ground with a dull thud that knocked her mask off. Oh, it's her. What? What's her face? Not me. Is Raza Kylo Ren? He might just be. My first instinct was to run away, but as Maverick and Lorem started charging, so did I. I am gonna do so much help. Oh no, Maverick! Oh, Raze was quick at his aim and shot at Maverick until he went down. Ah! Lorem took flight with a few beats of his wings and was about to arrive, collide with Reza, but at the last moment, Reza got out of the way and hit Lorem with a well-aimed kick. At least it was not a gunshot. Ah! Baby! No! Protect him! Protect! Lorem cr collided roughly with a wall and fell to the ground. Remembering Lorem's words, I took the sphere and threw it towards Reza as hard as I could. At first it looked as though it was going to miss, but the sphere adjusted its path and flew straight toward him. Blink! Reza aimed at me, but the sphere hit him before he could pull the trigger. He lost his balance and stumbled backwards before he fell to the ground. As he got up, I saw that the barrel of his gun was now bent out of shape. When he realized this, he bolted towards the exit. Oh no, you don't! Oh, ow. I tried to stop him, but he hit me in the face with the gun's blunt end and ran past me. It took a few seconds until I composed myself and ran after him. Oh shoot, this is like as far as he's ever gotten. <laughs> as I went up the hill, I saw that Reyes was already taking his place while the portal did its starting routine. I ran up to the console and entered a few commands. Reza turned around and saw me. What are you doing? Ow! Razor walked off the platform, but I quickly ran around the console and threw my weight against him, just in time for the portal to start teleporting us. Oh god, where are we going? Uh, what did we do? We might be in trouble. Lorem lived to tell the police what had transpired in the underground building. The conversation they had overheard was enough for the dragons to find out about the comet, and with the help of the portal's power source, they were able to divert it. As neither humanity nor the dragons ended uh, knew where Razor or I had ended up, our visit was considered a failure. Humanity had decided that if our visit did not yield any results, they would no longer try their luck with the portal, and instead use their remaining energy to hold on as long as they still could. For the dragons, life went on as usual, but for our city, this outcome meant they had to continue their fight on their own. It was an uphill battle that was eventually lost when the city ran out of resources and fell. Crap! Was that the good ending? Like, really? That was depressing. Oh, man. I wonder what reason I ended up, though. Wow. And it was that girl, not me. Uh, Yuzumi? Something like that? I think? Aww. Uh, I miss you already, Laura. 
<laughs> wow. That was wild. I don't know, man. It just gives you even more to think about. I think this one was a good one to do last, because it really gets you thinking about the multiple timelines theory, which is, as anyone who is watching this, uh, who's been here for other ones, has seen. Uh, it's very important to think about multiple timelines in the, uh, the context of this game. But hey, at least Lorem is freaking alive, for the record. Are you saying good ending because you know following, or are you just saying good ending because this is supposed to be the good ending? Then again, we had raises, which tore us to pieces. I mean, raises, uh, Remy's, which tore us, tore our hearts to pieces, so, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. You know? Yup. It's, uh... Oh, look at him! A little postman outfit. God, I love him a lot. He's so pure. He's such a pure, innocent boy. I'm whelmed. I'm also whelmed. Wow. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see, let's let's make sure that we, we did a good. No, as in it was a good ending. I've never seen this game. Oh, well, you know, once we get to, uh, now we've gotten all of the like story ending. I mean, like the, the romance ending. Oh, oh, I forgot there's more. There's more after the credits. I forgot. Um, okay, I'll, I'll give my closing thought. Oh God, where did we end up? This is probably gonna tell me. We reappeared on the other side and collapsed to the ground. It was the day of my arrival in the dragon's world. Just as I'd planned. Ha! -ha! Surprise! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. Oh, it's Izumi. That's right. That's her name. I was kind of close, I think. Oh, look at what the cat dragged in. You're supposed to be dead. Am I now? We went back in time, bitch. You're right. But today is not the day. Boop! <laughs> She's kind of... She held up Raze's head and punched him. His body instantly went limp as he fell unconscious. Great punch, girl. Good job, Diana. Thanks, girl. Oh, is that yours? She pointed at an object on the ground behind me. When I turned around, I realized that it was the Ixoman Sphere. Whatever setting Lorem had activated had apparently prompted it to follow us, even through the portal. Not exactly. You better hold on to it regardless. Those things are expensive. She walked over to Raze's lower half and started lifting him by the legs. Come on and help me with this. We've got a long night ahead of us. Yeah, what? what where was that going? What? You've seen Lorem's good ending. Rad. The plan is what that achievement was called. All right, so now we've got a little Lorem up here flying around. Woohoo. Um, all right, cool. Uh, I want to... Just check the gallery and see. Oh yeah, okay, so we get a picture for every like side character we help, and then... Oh wait, did we see this one? Aww, look at him sculpting! That's so cute! Wow, alright. I was gonna say, wait, I don't even think we've seen all these. Wow, these are gorgeous, actually. Oh, wait, where's Shogun woman with his waifu is on the screen? Um, here's my friggin' husbando. All right, mm. And we got little Adeline here. So cute. We've also got the side characters we've done so far. Ooh, uh, that guy whose name escapes me right now. And uh, Kevin, of course. Nice leather jacket, Kevin. That rocks. Um, so we have all these side characters that we haven't actually seen yet. Um, or we haven't helped. Like, I know Kazuhiro is one of them. But, um... Yeah, so with that, we've done all of the good endings for all of the characters, uh, which is good. So what that means is um, we have to uh, be a jerk to everyone next time, and uh, then we can get the evil ending. 
and then after you've gotten everyone's good ending, we can go choose to go to the fireworks with everybody, and that'll get us the true ending. So yeah, that's gonna be that. I am pretty pumped. Uh, oh, we have to- oh, Amara is one of the special ones too, actually. Um. Yeah. Wow, all right. That must be what the chest face human looks like. It might just be, you know? Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for coming uh, today. I know it was a bit of a weird time for me to stream, but I, you know, now that we uh, get to be a jerk to everyone next time, it's gonna be a little bit more fun and we will go through the plot. So if you haven't seen the plot and you are worried about missing something, do not worry about missing something because next time we are gonna go through the whole thing. Because I have to do, um, I can't skip anything in order to do bad investigations. Um, so yeah, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be great. And uh, I will see you guys then. But uh, until then, I will, I mean, if you watch my videos, I'll see you then. But my next stream will probably be tomorrow night. Um, I will be um, continuing with Amnesia, the subspecial stream. And it'll be great, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, I will want keep an eye on Twitter because I will tweet if that is happening or not and what time it'll be at. So with that, thank you all so much for being here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.